What's up, good people? This is your boy, Bumpy Man, and it's been a minute, but I'm going to say this is day one of something that I'm trying to do. Um, just basically expressing my thoughts about my day or days prior or tomorrow, man. Just using this as a avenue or a platform to just have some words. So today, um, my goal was to do a video. I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, this is time where I want to just get my thoughts out. And my first thought today, if you don't know, if you have been, if you're one of the small subscribers that I have on this particular channel, have not follow me I typically do barbecue um, food videos whatever the case may be so if that's what you're looking for at this moment on today that's not what I'm doing um, I you know what I just I just don't know what exactly things is gonna be from day to day um, I might have the food on here I might have um, me eating you know doing some reviews, I don't know, I've done it all, and I'm just to the point where, as I've, I've even changed my YouTube name um, half a dozen times, so as you can see, bumpy all over the place, because I'm kind of all over the place, so let's start with just today, um, if you don't know, I work for the transit system here in Maryland, and so I've been doing that be 15 years for me in November. So one of the things that happens is that we change schedules, and today was the first day of my new schedule. And my day started off pretty good. Um, I got a chance to pick up a young man and his family. It, was, it is the first day of school here in Baltimore. Um, and this young man and his family, young man, this is freshman year at my alma mater, Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Um, there's a poor pride on three. He was, he, he had his poet gear on and I was like, he was about to pay. And here in Maryland, um, or here in Baltimore, students don't have to pay for the most part. So, off top, I was like, he was getting on his body. I said, no, you good. I said, pull a pride on three. And, you know, it's family. So, I got to talk with his family. It was his first time really catching a bus like that. Um, he had his brother and his mother with him. And they was getting him all situated with the first day of school and it just made me feel good A because he was a poet B because I think one of the things that we are missing a lot of times is the value of the family support um, you get a lot of kids that just don't have it they just don't have the support that they want or that they need um, to make it you know, in, in today's society. And this young man seemed like a good young man. Um, you know, just based off the small conversation I had with him while driving the bus, talking to his moms, jokes was cracked and everything. Um, the brother, uh, I had said, you know, I came out of Dunbar in 1999. He said, oh man, I was one years old. I said, God, dog, I said, I said, man, you made me feel old just now. I guess 1999 doesn't sound too young anymore. But um, it was so dope to just have that type of dialogue and conversation um, with the family. Uh, so, again, I'm pretty sure this young man and the family will not see this video. If they do, they come across it. Hey, um, just know you, you know I'm talking about you. Um, good luck on your year, poor pride on three. Um, secondly today, 
Uh, and I think I should start like writing these thoughts down because I be having a lot of thoughts that that go along with my everyday travels and everything. Just what I see driving this bus. Um, but the second thing today was the fact that. So the second thing was, young man gets on my bus um, with a young lady, and they had their baby. Um, he was, you know, had the whole the whole shebang, the, the baby bag, the stroller. The baby couldn't have been no more than two, three months or so. And if you, again, growing up in Baltimore. Um, a, the family dynamic is usually not your typical or traditional. B, the reason why it's not your traditional or typical dynamic, or I should say traditional dynamic, is normally the father's missing. And but this young man, he was, he had the, he was pushing the stroller. He had the baby bag on the shoulder. He got on. Um, he told his. His girl, you know, go sit down. I, I got it. While still having a baby bag and stroller, so he paid for he paid for the um for his girl, and he was like, hold on, let me let me go and, and grab my money. Uh, he had to sit down, get the baby situated. When he came back up, he said, man, look, I only got a dollar. Can I get on? I said, bro, you good? You keep that dollar. You know what I mean? In my mind. I'm like, you don't understand that you've already paid for your ride today by just being there with your girl, with your baby, and more or less with, with your baby. Who knows? We all know that, you know, relationships don't work out, and a lot of times the kid is what, what suffers. Uh, <clears throat> so when he got off the bus, um, they, you know, they, they rode the bus, they got off the bus, um, he's about to get off, and I honk my horn. I said, come here, man. I had an extra, extra pass, and I gave it to him. And I just, I kind of just looked at him, and he was like, I'm on it. I said, you on it. You are on it, bro. I said, peace and blessings to you, bro. And a lot of times, sometimes those situations, that's all they want. That's all they need is, is, they, is that somebody sees them trying to do the right thing uh and so that that was a that was another point you know today that i thought was was great um but like i said i i don't know what this little series or these these videos but i want to be more consistent one of the things for me <clears throat> i have been on YouTube for over 10 years. One of my first videos, if you want to check it out, one of my first videos is uh, cooking a whole chicken in a crock pot. It's probably my most viewed video at the moment, somewhere around two, three thousand views. Um, and instead of me continuing that momentum, my consistency. So. I feel like that my consistency is terrible and I need to do better at it. So what this video will do, I don't know. I am planning to try to do a video, I'm gonna say every day. You know, what's the worst that can happen? I record a video, I put it up, let it fly, you know. Um, you know, podcasts and you know, group talks and you know, everything is is the thing. But a lot of times, there are a lot of people that could be great at this. They just don't be consistent, and I'm one of them. So I, I plan on trying to be more consistent with this, uh, with putting up videos. Whether it's food, whether it's just talking, I be having thoughts, y'all. And uh, you know, I might even, I might even dub this as what we talking about. 
because that's one of my favorite sayings. You know, I, I, I be talking and, you know, making people laugh and, you know, saying certain things. They're like, what are we talking about right now? You know, somebody, I was in a training class a couple of weeks ago and somebody that has had my food was in my training class. And he was like, bruh, because I, <clears throat> I kept saying that, you know, we was talking and man, what we talking about right now? I'm trying to make it basically, you know, this, the point is this. And he's like, man, you need to, you need to copyright that. You need to dub that. You need to put that as your motto, your slogan, what we talking about. So I still remember um, if my guy in my training class so happened to come across this particular video, what we talking about. So I'm making this a little short video uh, and I just wanted to come on here and put something out there. I think my problem is, is that I'll be trying to be, I'll be trying to be so perfect or thinking that no one is listening. And sometimes it, does, it shouldn't matter if anyone's listening. If you're saying something and you say it out loud and you get your thoughts out, a lot of times it's all that matters. Get your thoughts out. Uh, there are things that has gone on in my life over the last two, three years uh, where my thoughts, you know, I, I think a lot, I overthink, and sometimes I just want to get my thoughts out. And if it helps somebody, great. I always use myself as an example. When I speak to someone, I'm giving somebody, somebody advice or whatever the case may be, I always use myself for an example. And I never try to tell another grown person what to do. But I say, hey, this is what happened to me. This is my experience. If what I'm saying helps you, great. Um, and that's, that's all that matters at this point all that matters for me at this point so I think I need to stop putting so much weight on the value of a video and just put put the weight or the value on putting content out there I follow a lot of different um, content creators youtubers and I get inspired I get inspired, I love it, uh, with everything that be going on in the world, sometimes you just need something to get you through, so, I'm gonna call it right now, you know, it's, it's, um, I'm happy, I'm happy that I actually did this video, uh, this is bumpy all over the place, who knows if I'm going to change the name again, but, I think that fits. Might be all over the place. What we talking about? Be good. Be great. Like, subscribe, comment if you just so happen to see this video and you watched this far. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's your boy Bumpy. Peace.